there. Welcome back to Texas Gal Treasures. It's Margaret. I wanted to bring you a video of what has sold uh, since my last upload and since I also started uh, using Pinterest more for marketing. Uh, so I'll point out which items I really pushed on my marketing Pinterest. Um, here is one of them. This Odagiri jumping bass trout whatever mug. Uh, I took a best offer on this one. I think I bought it for a quarter and I took a best offer of I believe it was $17.99. I do free shipping uh, so that was nice and this was one that I pinned. Uh, I created a Pinterest page for I think I called it by the sea so anything that was ocean or river water related I've uh, got pinned there along with other things. This is a Demitas Royal. I'm not even going to try to tell. Yes, I will. Um, Demitas. And I also took a best offer on that for $19.99. Uh, I've had this one for quite a while, so I was happy to send it to a good home. Here's another ding, 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 Pinterest. Uh, this was probably one of the first things I pinned when I started. Uh, working on my books galore, children's books, uh, brave little kittens, aren't they cute? Oh, so I saw that one. And then this one I've held on to, I've had it for quite a while as well, a Victorian uh, shaving mug. I, I'm not sure if it, exactly it's a shaving mug or one of those mugs that the, you know, the men with the fancy mustaches so they don't get their mustache messed up when they're drinking. Um, but I also took a best offer on this, I believe, of $39.99. Uh, here is another hat pin holder. I've got a bazillion hat pin holders, sugar shakers. And so this one sold. Again, I took a best offer of, I think, around $50 free shipping. And this, oh, this was amazing. So this coat, it's wool. It's this long cloak. It, it was just so funky cool. I got it at a garage sale for, I think, $2. Um, I ended up taking a best offer of for $99.99 on it. And the crazy thing was that I I had it forever in my, um, my antique booth because I just was like, oh, I don't know about, I hadn't started doing clothes yet really online. And um, I kept marking it down, marking it down, marking it down in my antiques booth. I think I even had it at one point like $15 and just nobody was touching it just the market was not right obviously there and so I thought you know what this is so awesome I can't believe it I'm going to take it home I'm going to list it I'm going to list it for what I think it should sell for and you know sold pretty quick for uh, 99 so I didn't mind knocking off that much off the price really uh, again patterns are easy to pick up and list and you know I sell a couple a month depending on what they are these ones usually sell between five and ten bucks but some of them can get up there if you find some nice Vogue ones here's another one that was a, a Pinterest one of the first things I pinned and uh, uh, these milk glass earrings I, I bought a, a couple pairs of milk glass earrings and bracelets at a garage sale for pretty cheap I think it was like three or four bucks for all of them um, Oh, it doesn't see on here how much I sold it for. But I think these end up selling for about $15 or $20. And these also I picked up at um, an auction. And so I had a bunch of them. It was one of those that was easy to list. So this person ended up buying two of them, I guess, you know, for that Wonder Woman look. And uh, so it was 35 bucks for two shipped. Pretty awesome. And this was another Pinterest I pinned, uh, was starting to pin some of my silver rings. Uh, this one sold for $35 as well, shipped. And this is a cross that I've had for a while. So pretty, you know, silver with these um, emerald green stones, probably a malachite or something like that. But if you flip it over, you could see, you know, the green through it. It's kind of hard to tell on there. But anyway, super pretty. And that one sold, I believe, for in the $30, $40 range. And then this is another Pinterest one. I was really working hard on my uh, children's books, and this baby is $25, bucks. okay? So if you are passing over looking at children's, uh, vintage children's books, don't, because I think I picked this one up for a dime, sold it for $25, bucks, and uh, totally worth it to me. Love it. And last, this little girl, I've had her for a long time, and finally uh, she sold. I was very happy that she found a good home. So she's going to Israel. So also, if you don't do international shipping, you need to check, check into it because, you know, 
you're missing out on sales. So she's heading off to Israel. So anyway, thanks for watching and um, subscribe to Texas Gal Treasures. Follow me on Facebook and leave me a comment. Let me know you're watching. Thanks so much. Bye.